Reincarnated as a dragon's egg. Chapter 1. The egg that walks. Pakiri. There were cracks in front of me. In a world full of darkness, there was finally light. I take a look at the crack at my side, which is getting bigger. Hmm. Is this a forest? And it seems that I'm on top of a tree. Let's try standing up. As I was standing up, I heard noises of something breaking below my feet. Hey, eh? What's this strange thing I'm stepping on? I mean, it feels like it's breaking. As I said that, something suddenly appeared inside of my head. It looked like one of those typical game menu screens. Race. Dragon's Egg. Status. Normal. Level. 1 out of 5. HP. 5 out of 5. MP. 1 out of 1. Attack. 1. Defense. 3. Magic. 1. Agility. 10. Rank. F. Special Skills. Eggshell. Level blank. God's Voice. Level 1. Resistance Skills. Physical Resistance. Level 1. Normal Skills. Roll. Level 1. Inspect Status. Level 1. Title Skills. Dragon King's Son. Level blank. Egg Walk. Level blank. Isn't this thing just like one of those RPG screens? Status screen was opened. These words were still floating in my head. Eh? Status screen? The status screen helps to easily understand one's ability and level by converting it to numerical values in writing. Eh? Hey, my question was answered. The special skill, God's Voice, level 1, explains or describes anything related to items or statuses. It will also notify you of any changes made to your status. Wait a moment. What's this? When did this happen? Eh? Could this be? Could it possibly be a game? Special skill, God's Voice, level 1, is unable to explain. What? Level 1 isn't able to explain? Could it be that it needs to be a higher level to be able to? Anyway, who's talking? Special skill, God's Voice, level 1, is unable to explain. Who are you? Also, where is this place? Special skill, God's Voice, level 1, is unable to explain. What is this? This emptiness. Anyway, since it seems that the strange voice has stopped, let's try to look for someone who can communicate like a human. Even if there is no point, I really want to talk to someone else. Suddenly, my field of vision narrows. It looks like... a fall? I'm falling right now! It seems that I somehow fell from a tree, and it's reasonably tall. But somehow it seems that I am still alive. The resistance skill, physical resistance, level up from 1 to 2. Resistance skill, full resistance level 1 was acquired. What's this? Enduring the impact made my skills get stronger. Ah, my HP decreased to 3. Does that mean if it becomes 0, I'll die? This is a dream. This is a dream, right? Title skill, Klutz, level 1, was acquired. Is that an insult? Oi, God's voice. Do I look like an idiot to you? Ugh, you've got such poor taste. That isn't a title skill, that's an insult. Special skill, God's voice, level 1, is unable to explain... Ah, uh, you've done it now. Well, it's okay. If I continue like this, I'll just keep stressing myself. I look at the tree that I just fell off, but I can't even see the top of it. What a small field of vision. I can't even move my neck. Oh, there's spring water on the other side. Let's have a look at my reflection. I stare intently at the water's surface, trying to see my reflection. A huge egg. There's a hole in the eyes and feet section. The odd size and cracks here and there, appearance, the feeling... How'd you say it? All of these are pretty normal features of an egg. Hey, what's this? I mean, without a doubt, this is me. I was really taken aback with the reflection in the water. Me? Is it really me? This really is me. I don't understand. How could this happen? Answer, you idiot! Dragon's Egg is an f rank monster, the son of the dragon, an incomplete monster with consciousness. Inside of the egg, it's incomplete. If the shell is broken, you will die. Are you kidding? You're joking with me, right? Although your brain is still in its infancy, you can think reasonably and have the ability to roll. What's with that? I do think about a lot of stuff, you know. It is dangerous to be alone. 
The inside of the egg is extraordinarily delicious and considered a delicacy. It is reasonably famous. If you were to be found by an adventurer, you would be instantly killed. Though, if the parent dragons are near, this wouldn't be the case. There is also the chance that the adventurer would take you away, but this isn't recommended, as a dragon can follow the scent of its egg. A lie. It's a lie, right? Isn't it a bit too cruel? I would be killed if I were found at all. Just like a cockroach. What is this? Adventurers, dragons, monsters? Really, what the heck is this? Chapter 2. Egg-Eating Dark Worms I regain my consciousness, and it's now the second day. Also, I finally come to understand that this forest I'm in is a dangerous forest full of monsters. Monsters like some black crocodile-looking thing, and other giant insects which I really dislike. This place probably isn't Japan. This place probably is Africa. I always knew that Africa had black crocodiles, giant insects, walking eggs, and some kind of bear with four arms. I should have paid more attention to things outside of Japan. That way, I could have known if there was some dangerous country out there. I really want to cry right now. By the way, today I got the hunger resistance and poison resistance skills because of a mushroom that I ate earlier. Now my stomach hurts. Really does hurt. Well, at least I understand that it won't be dangerous if I just have it in my hand. Anyways, let's test the roll skill. As if by instinct, I just rolled over to the side. Roll skill has leveled up to level 2. I rolled from a high place which ended up with me falling and it dealt quite the amount of damage. Full resistance skill has leveled up to level 2. I almost killed myself. Uh, I'm tired. God's voice, Chan. I want to go back home. I want to take a bath. I want to eat chips. Special skill, God's voice level 1, is unable to explain. Please, let's have a conversation. I feel like I'm going to die from loneliness. I'm about to start crying. Resistance skill. Solitude resistance, level 1, was acquired. I'm sorry, I don't think that will be necessary. Your consideration makes me pretty happy, though. But it isn't what I'm looking for. I want the warmth of another person. I'm not a man who can endure being alone. I don't want to become a lonely man. I don't need to be the strongest. I just want to keep living as a human who has recognised his weakness. Human life, huh? Something like being born from an egg means that I'll change. Which reminds me, when did I even come here? I don't seem to remember. I do recall that I'm Japanese, and I still have my common knowledge which tells me that monsters shouldn't exist. I don't quite remember if I was a man or a woman, but probably a man if I think about it. Was I abducted and brought to Africa? Then I wonder who God's voice Chan is. Title, Straight Fool, Level 1, was acquired. I wish you would stop with those kind of answers. Fine, you just hurt my feelings. Anyway, let's confirm my status. Race, Dragon's Egg. Status, Normal. Level, 1 out of 5. HP, 5 out of 5. MP, 1 out of 1. Attack, 1. Defense, 3. Magic, 1. Agility, 10. Rank, F. Special skills, Eggshell, level blank. God's voice, level 1. Resistance skills, Physical resistance, level 1. Full resistance, level 2. Hunger resistance, level 1. Poison resistance, level 1. Solitude resistance, level 1. Normal skills, Roll, level 2. Inspect status, level 1. Title skills, Dragon King's Son, level blank. Walking Egg, level blank. Klutz, level 2. Straight Fool, level 1. Uh, the Klutz skill also leveled up. I recalled something I didn't really want to remember. Really, how could this skill be helpful? It seems that HP can be recovered just by lying down. These past two days, I've made sure to not get hurt and end up dying because of that. I've been avoiding monsters, eating small fruits that fall from the trees and little insects and drinking the spring's water. Though I didn't want to, it was inevitable. I thought I was going to die from hunger. Even I think that giving up after two days is a bit quick. Can't be helped. Compared to when I was a human, the hunger is a lot stronger. I'm still in my growth period. I mean, I'm still an egg. 
Even if my level goes up, will I be able to fight? I don't think I'll be able to hit a monster. Since I'm an egg, when will I hatch? God's voice said that I was a dragon's egg. Shouldn't there be any sort of feeling that I'm growing? Maybe it won't happen unless I level up. I need to defeat monsters? That's impossible. I'm just an egg. Nest? Didn't I fall from my nest? Didn't I fall from a tree? Could it possibly be that it was the dragon's nest? It could be that there's something there that stimulates my growth. Ah, oh, danger. There are some grotesque caterpillars at the base of the tree. I discovered them quite late, actually. That thing's name is Dark Worm. When I fell down here, they began to chase me. Naturally, I was able to escape. With the exception of the Dark Worm, other monsters just seem to ignore me. They just seem to overlook me. It could be that they think that if they try to attack me, the parent Draggle will come forth and protect me. Now that I think about it, God's voice did say something like that on the first day. But that fellow always attacks me. Let's check the Dark Worm's status. Status inspection, I said in my mind. Race. Dark Worm. Status. Normal. Level. 3 out of 8. HP. 8 out of 12. MP. 3 out of 5. Attack. 5. Defense. 2. Magic. 3. Agility. 8. Rank. F. Special skills. Caterpillar. Level blank. Resistance skills. Poison resistance. Level 1. Normal skills. Bite. Level 1. Group call. Level 2. Title skills. Egg eater. Level 1. Dangerous. Really dangerous. His overall status is better than mine. My agility is slightly better than his, but for now I should escape from here. Now I know why that guy was so obstinately aiming at me. It's because of that strange title skill that he has. Egg Eater, level 1. It really probably is because of that. What I came to understand was that that guy seems to know the taste of an egg. Negotiation would be impossible. It would be very inadvisable to communicate with that thing. It seems like, right now, the Dark Worm somehow lost some HP. If I wait for it to fall asleep, will I be able to finish him off? His level is higher than mine, but my defense is a bit higher than his. If I receive one attack, I will be out, but I think that I should be able to win if I use my advantage in agility well. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to beat that guy down so I can level up in order to hatch and bring this egg life to an end. Chapter 3. Battle Against the Dark Worm I'm being chased. The Dark Worm's chasing me. Come on. I'll lure it out to a place where I can have an advantageous position. Even though I understand that I can easily die, because I'm still an egg after all. Although, according to both my and his status, I do win in agility, I do fall far behind in attack. Also, my HP is much lower than his. I don't think I'll be able to endure even one of his hits. Thanks to my advantage in agility, I can do preemptive attacks, but if I were to receive a counter-attack, that would be the end of me. If that's the case, I should just play to my advantages and just keep striking until I bring him down. There's only this option anyway. Although I don't know where or how I should hit him to inflict the most damage. But I need to risk it. Sssss. The dark worm hisses at me. Escape! Escape! I go up the hill and look for a good place. I aim for a place that looks like several stair steps. I almost fell down from one of them, but I was able to recover. My objective is a small cliff, and I run to it. The dark worm is still closely following me. That's it, good boy. Steadily keep coming to me. Little by little, I drop my speed to attract the dark worm closer to me. Sssss. As my stamina drops, he seems to hiss happily at me. That fella seems to think he'll finally get to eat me. He really is careless. He must be thinking that I'm a fool just because I'm an egg. Just because of that, this'll be his end. I begin to increase my speed and then hit him with a corkscrew punch. That guy takes a lot of time to rotate because of how big his body is. As I use the skill Roll to get away, my limbs enter the inside of my shell. My roll skill's level 2. I'm able to accelerate in this position as well. I move to the side of the Dark Worm, and with all of my force, I smash him with my body while I'm still rolling. Thanks to the friction from the egg, the Dark Worm's body surface is also cut. I push him with all of my weight. It seems that the preemptive hit strategy did work. Thanks to this, it seems that his physical strength will also be affected. That's something critical. 
Just like that, I keep pushing him in order to make him fall from the cliff. And there, the dark worm finally falls from the cliff. Because of the force of the roll and its acceleration, I fall on top of the dark worm. It's a good thing that I possess fall resistance level 2, and he doesn't. It's over. It was pretty tough for a moment. I thought I wouldn't be able to do it. We crash against the ground. I use the dark worm as a cushion in order to evade the blow on myself. The front part of the dark worm looked as if it was dented, and he was vomiting some black bodily fluids. I'm also quite hurt too. Did I trust a bit too much in fall resistance? But in the end, I seem to be alright. Unsteadily, the dark worm starts to sand. Hey, are you serious? It's impossible. There's some blood-like substance coming from his mouth and body. He should be out cold. The dark worm's hollow eyes were focusing on me, but he held himself together and began to lift himself up. What? What is this feeling? He seems to be extremely mad. For one last time he cried and fell to the ground once again. <sighs> I felt really nervous for a moment there. Wait, does this mean that he finally died? Twelve experience points were obtained. Because of the effects of the title skill, Walking Egg, another twelve experience points were obtained. The level of Dragon's Egg raised from one to five. Dragon's Egg has reached its max level. The evolution condition has been satisfied. I won! I really won! I beat an opponent that I thought I could only run from. Even if I leveled up in one go, was it because of the effects of Walking Egg? Although I don't seem to understand how it works, it seems to give me bonus XP. For it to give twice the experience. Isn't that amazing? How do I say this? Wasn't that last cry kind of strange? That was a higher pitch than his usual cries. Well, not like he can do anything now that he's dead. Then, what shall I do now? I suppose that I should eat him. The idea of eating this giant caterpillar is quite dreadful, though, if you ask me. But I suppose that he should give me good nutrients for my growth. A hole in the shell opens where the mouth should be, and I begin to chew on the dark worm's backside. Chapter 4. Graduating from being an egg. Now that I've finished eating the dark worm, I suppose I should check my status. If I remember correctly, a while ago it said that I was able to evolve. Race. Dragon's Egg. Status. Normal. Level. 5 out of 5. Max. HP. 5 out of 9. MP. 5 out of 5. Attack. 5. Defense. 8. Magic. 3. Agility. 15. Rank. F. Special Skills. Eggs shell, level blank, God's voice, level 1, resistance skills, physical resistance, level 1, full resistance, level 2, hunger resistance, level 1, poison resistance, level 1, solitude resistance, level 1, normal skills, roll, level 2, inspect status, level 1, title skills, dragon king's son, level blank, walking egg, Level blank. Klutz. Level 2. Straight fall. Level 1. It went up. It went up. My status raised. My level also reached its maximum. I should be able to evolve now that my level reached its maximum. But how? How do I evolve? Do you want your evolution options to be displayed? Oh, my thoughts are answered. Words were floating in my head. I thought it was cold and evil, but it's unexpectedly considerate. I request of you, I don't want to be an egg anymore. Next, Baby Dragon, rank D minus. Little Dragon, rank D plus. Current, Dragon's Egg, rank F. Previous, blank. What's this? Baby Dragon, Little Dragon. Do I have to choose one that I like the most? Being given a choice is quite refreshing. But isn't there a plus sign attached to one? Wouldn't Little Dragon be the better option? Little Dragon, rank D+. A small type dragon. It's called Little because of its size. It's as big as a bear. Its fire breath attack is feared by adventurers. Oh, it gave me an explanation. You've been really nice today. Are you a Sundar or what? Little by little, my loneliness is disappearing. Hmm. 
Little dragon seems to be good enough, but would it be able to compete with other monsters? Anyways, show me the other one. Baby dragon, rank D minus. They have tender meat and are extremely delicious. They also go well with sauce. They have a low combat ability because of their short fangs and talons, but they have the most potential as they can evolve into different types of dragons. Because of that, they are mostly hunted by other monsters and adventurers. That one seems painful. The first thing it told me is how good of a food it was and then its potential. No, not this one. With the little dragon's ability, I don't think I'd be scared to live on. This one seems to be the best evolution to choose. Its strength is guaranteed. Become strong. Huh? What was that? Some letters appeared in my head. God's voice? Is that you? This is strange from you. Become strong. Become strong. Become strong. Become strong. Become strong. Become strong. Hey? Hey? You should be aiming to be the best. To be the top. Like no other. Like the stone that shines the most. You should... I have a lot of expectations on you. Is this really God's voice? Why are you God's voice? Level has increased to two. Now? With this timing? The level rose just as God's voice stopped. It's as if it was in a rush. It felt like it was a game bug. It was as if it was scared. What to do? Does it want me to go with the baby one? If not, I feel like God's voice would get mad. Is that right? The other monsters seem to be looking this way, which is kind of making me scared. Aim for the top, huh? That's really something that I would like to do. But I suppose turning into a baby should make me stronger than I am right now. If that's the case, I think it will be strong enough just to protect myself. More than an unknown enemy, it's more scary to go against God's voice. Moreover, if it has some expectations of me, I suppose I should answer them, right? The idea of being the strongest also attracts me. All right, I've decided. I'll choose Baby Dragon. Let's do this. This is my final decision. Do it before I regret it. The moment I decided, my shell began to make cracking noises and divided itself. I became much lighter. Special skill, Egg's shell, level blank, has been lost. Special skill, Dragon's scales, level one, has been obtained. By the effects of title skill, Dragon King's son, level blank, the level of every resistance skill under level 5 has been raised. Seriously? Isn't that a pretty good cheat? Normal skill, baby breath, level 1, was obtained. Normal skill, whistle, level 1, was obtained. Normal skill, sweet bite, level 1, was obtained. Oi oi. My skills have also gotten a bit better. But this sweet bite thing, how's it useful? Race. Baby Dragon. Status? Normal. Level? 1 out of 25. HP? 5 out of 15. MP? 5 out of 5. Attack? 6. Defense? 5. Magic? 6. Agility? 10. Rank? D-. minus. Special Skills? Dragon Scales? Level 1. God's Voice? Level 2. Resistance Skills? Physical Resistance? Level 2. Full resistance. Level 3. Hunger resistance. Level 2. Poison resistance. Level 2. Solitude resistance. Level 2. Normal skills. Roll. Level 2. Inspect status. Level 1. Baby breath. Level 1. Whistle. Level 1. Sweet bite. Level 1. Title skills. Dragon King's son. Level blank. Walking egg. Level blank. Klutz, level 2. Straight Fool, level 1. This is the type of evolution that becomes powerful once it matures, isn't it? It seems that I returned to level 1. Well, it was a miracle that I was able to fight as an egg. Let's go to the nearby lake. I want to see how my appearance has changed. Yellow body, round eyes, tiny baby-looking wings that grow from my back. Ah, so cute, isn't it? But I don't seem to be able to fly yet. I don't have a particular skill that tells me so. Trying my best, I begin to move my wings, but they only shake a little. After that, my hopes died. Aim for the top, huh? Fine. 
I'll aim for it with all my power. Chapter 5. A Swarm of Caterpillars. Phew, delicious. It was so difficult to drink water when I was an egg. I needed to frantically try to pour the water into the egg's hole. I feel as if I've just been born. Well, until now I was an egg. I start to hear some unpleasant sounds behind me as I drink the water of the lake. I turn my head to try and see what the origin of the sound was, and from the inside of the forest I saw multiple shadows. Oi, isn't that the swarm of dark worms? And it seems like they're all coming here. I see at least twenty of them. Quite the spectacle. Uh, they uh, Are they possibly coming after me? If I remember correctly, after I beat that other dark worm, he suddenly stood up and gave off one last cry. Now that I think about it, he had a skill called Group Call Level 2. That last cry must have been him using the skill. Oi, but what is this amount? How many hardships have I been thrown so far? If I think about it, it's a miracle that my heart hasn't stopped. Even if it's better that I'm no longer an egg. As the dark worms encircle me, I start to breathe out warm air in their direction. That was the baby breath skill. The dark worms that are in that direction seem to be falling. It's working. It's working. As I seem to have overturned the dark worms' assault, I step on one of them with all my strength. I keep stepping on him, and then I grab him from the back. Come on. Even if it bites me, it doesn't hurt at all. I'm no longer the same as I was before. The dark worms start to attack me from all directions. I twist my body and jump in the direction of one of the dark worms and land on his abdomen, making him fall. And then I use another baby breath. The weakened dark worm dies. Four down, 16 remaining. I need to keep this up. 48 experience points have been obtained. Because of the effects of title skill, walking egg, another 48 experience points were obtained. Huh? I still have the walking egg skill? I thought I'd lost it because I don't have egg shell anymore. Wasn't that its characteristic? Does that mean I'll continue to gain an experience bonus? Isn't that a bit like a cheat? Baby Dragon's level increased from 1 to 7. Title skill, Infighter, level 1, was obtained. Normal skill, Dragon Punch, level 1, was obtained. Oh, my strength increased. The Dark Worms seem to falter, but I won't let any of you escape. All of you are going to be my experience points. I kick the ground to boost my jump and throw another punch at another dark worm. He bites my fist, but his teeth weren't able to pierce my scales. And my punch finally hits. That was my dragon punch. My fist is covered in fire and I break his teeth. Thanks to the strength of the punch, I sent him flying. Once again, I jump into the air and hit another dark worm that was behind me. Two more down. If I keep this pace up... I'll end this fast. I repeatedly defend what destiny throws at me. These dark worms that I once considered a worthy rival are now no more than just mere experience for me. I send the last one flying with dragon punch. It took me five minutes to deal with all of the dark worms. I keep levelling up during the fight which kept making me stronger. The strongest ten minute old baby dragon. Twelve experience points have been obtained. Because of the effects of the title skill, Walking Egg, Another 12 experience points were obtained. As I thought, that's a cheat, isn't it? My level just keeps going up because of it. The next evolution isn't until level 25. Unexpectedly, I might reach it sooner than I thought. Baby Dragon's level has increased from 14 to 15. Title skill, Infighter, level has increased from 1 to 2. Race, Baby Dragon, status, normal, level... 15 out of 25, HP, 3 out of 57, MP, 1 out of 55, Strength, 51, Defense, 35, Magic, 48, Agility, 35, Rank, D-, Special Skills, Dragon Scales, Level 1, God's Voice, Level 2, Defense Skills, Physical Resistance, Level 2, Full Resistance, Level 3, Hunger Resistance, Level 2 Poison Resistance, Level 2 Solitude Resistance, Level 2 Normal Skills, Roll, Level 2 Inspect Status, Level 1 Baby Breath, Level 1 Whistle, Level 1 Sweet Bite, Level 1 
Dragon Punch, level 1. Title Skills, Dragon King's Son, level blank. Walking Egg, level blank. Klutz, level 2. Straight Fool, level 1. Infighter, level 2. Harmful Insect Killer, level 1. I'm doing well. I've recovered my lost levels, but my HP is dangerously low. I should take a break until my HP recovers. But I feel that my agility is too low for my level. Anyways, not like I wanted to specialise in speed. It seems that getting to the top won't be that hard after all.